Today, we have two AI stories for you. After nearly two years in beta testing, Adobe has officially launched Photoshop on the web, making it available to all paid Photoshop plan users starting to September 27th, 2023. This simplified online version of Adobe's iconic photo editing software packs a punch with some impressive AI features. Users can now harness the power of Adobe's Firefly generative AI model, which brings the popular AI-powered generative fill and generative expand tools from the desktop version to Photoshop on the web. These tools enable users to manipulate images using text-based descriptions in over 100 languages, maintaining the original image's lighting and perspective. The web-based Photoshop also introduces a redesigned layout for a more streamlined experience ideal for newcomers. The contextual taskbar suggest relevant steps in your workflow, making editing more intuitive. For experienced users who prefer the classic desktop interface, this view can be disabled. Collaborative work gets a boost with the ability to invite others to collaborate on projects. Even those without an active Photoshop subscription can view and comment on files. However, one change to note is that Photoshop on the web will no longer offer a free-to-use version. Instead, it's all bundled with all paid Photoshop plans starting at $9.99 per month. With Photoshop on the web, Adobe continues to integrate AI seamlessly into its creative suite, offering more power and convenience to users. Is AI coming to Microsoft Paint? Microsoft has just unveiled an exciting feature for Windows 11 users. They're testing a text image creator powered by DALI, OpenAI's image image generation tool, right in Microsoft Paint. They're calling it Paint Co-Creator. Paint Co-Creator lets users describe an image in text, and then it works its magic to bring that description to life as artwork. Alternatively, you can select an art style, and Co-Creator will generate three variations for you to choose from. Once you've picked your favorite, you can further enhance your creation by adding layers, a feature that's brand new to Paint. However, there's a twist. Previous versions of DALI have had their challenges in accurately translating text into images. There are also issues with gender and racial bias. Microsoft acknowledges these concerns and promises to prevent the creation of, quote, harmful, offensive, or inappropriate content, though specifics are still scarce. Paint Co-Creator is on its way to all Windows 11 users in a few weeks, but for now, it's being gradually rolled out to Windows insiders. If you're eager to give it a try, you can join a waitlist and receive 50 credits to create your images. Keep in mind that this credit system might evolve in the future and could potentially involve a fee. Paint Co-Creator is available in preview for English-speaking users in several countries. As Microsoft continues to innovate with AI, we'll be here to keep you updated on the latest developments. Today, we are highlighting the work of Meredith Whitaker, president of Signal, from Time's 100 Most Influential People in AI. While most marked the beginning of the AI hype cycle in late 2022 with OpenAI's ChatGPT, Meredith's AI journey started back in 2013. Working at Google, she witnessed the tech giant's shift towards machine learning, but it was a pivotal moment that made her question the direction AI was taking. When pitched the idea of using AI to predict genocides, Meredith couldn't ignore the ethical implications. She realized that AI's intelligence relied on vast data sets, often held by tech giants, which could lead to biased outcomes. It raised questions about defining concepts like genocide. Her deep dive into AI ethics continued as she joined mass internal protests against workplace harassment and Google's AI military involvement. Despite Google's concessions, Meredith left in 2019, citing retaliation for her activism. Her journey led her to the FTC, where she advised on the link between corporate power concentration and AI harms. In 2022, she became the president of the Signal Foundation, overseeing the encrypted messaging app Signal. How does Signal relate to AI ethics? Tech giants collect vast amounts of data to train AI, often without consent. Meredith sees this as fundamentally unethical, concentrating power and undermining mutual understanding. Signal, with its privacy-focused messaging service, is Meredith's way of disrupting the data pipelines. She believes privacy and AI ethics are inseparable and is determined to create an alternative. Thanks for tuning in to AI Equation. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving us a review and sharing the show with your friends. Can't wait to bring you more AI insights next time.